Greetings, this is Robert Schaufkam, president of Hack and Slash Games, and today I'm going to show you how to play Ophidian 2350, the strategic combat card game. All right, the easiest way for me to do this is just to take you through the cards. That way you can learn what the numbers, the symbols, and the wordings mean. And we're going to start with the gladiator card, which we can tell by the little word that says gladiator. So in this game, you're going to have two people, and they're going to have teams of gladiators on either side. The gladiator cards determine all of the action of the game. They can do things themselves, but they also allow you to pick and choose which cards the gladiators can play. And how they do that is by the levels and by the disciplines. Gladiator cards are two-sided. So this gladiator has a level one side, and you can flip him over, and he has a level two side. This card has a level 3 side, and we flipped him over, and now we have a level 4 side. These are called disciplines, these little symbols, right after the level. There are six disciplines in total. This gladiator specialty is the war and psi disciplines. Now, how these disciplines work together with the levels is that they match up to cards in your hand or in your arsenal deck. So in your hand or in your arsenal deck, you're going to have cards that also have similar symbols and numbers. And the way it works is, is you may have a card that requires you to have a level 1 gladiator with the war symbol, or a level 4 gladiator with the psi symbol, or some other combination based on the other four symbols. Next up, we have the name of the gladiator, which is here, and a secondary name here. The reason why each gladiator has two names is so if your opponent is playing the same card as you, you can reference by the first name, he can reference by the second name. Next up we have the picture of the gladiator. This is just art, has no real uh, strategic importance in the game. This is actually the same gladiator even though the art is different on both cards. Next up we have the type of gladiator. So this gladiator is a spectral. And this gladiator, same thing, because it's the same gladiator. But you'll also see text like human, mutant, robot, etc. And the reason why is because there are going to be certain cards in your hand that will do, say, more damage to a spectral, or say, less damage to a human. Next up is the victory points of the gladiator. That's the VP, indicated by this little blue mark here. The victory points are what you use to determine your initial startup team and also what the gladiator is worth if he's killed in action. You'll notice that the higher level gladiators are actually worth more victory points than the lower ones. And that's because they're actually more powerful. They allow you to play more powerful cards and they have actual abilities that are more powerful than the earlier versions of them. Next up you'll see this little blood drop. That's an indication of the health of the gladiator. In this case, this gladiator can take 10 wounds before being killed in action. Next up is the Rage Indicator. Rage is kind of like being berserk. So if this gladiator sustains 7 wounds, he will be in effect raging. The consequences or ramifications of that are quite simple. Number one, if you attack a gladiator that is, that is raging, you will have one damage done back to you. Gladiators can typically only attack once per wave, and if you attack a gladiator that's already attacked, that is raging, he'll be able to attack you again through means of thing called setting or unsetting, which we'll discuss later. Next up is the damage the gladiator can do when that gladiator attacks. ADMG means attack damage. This is damage that is defensible, and we'll talk about damage that is defensible versus non-defensible also later in the game. Lastly, we have the ability of the gladiator and some flavor text. The ability of the gladiator tells you what that gladiator can do in addition to just straight attacking. So in this circumstance, a positive action, which we'll talk about actions later, squelch, while in the action field, set, target player scraps one card at random from hand. So that's the ability that this gladiator can do in addition to attacking. This flavor text right here doesn't do anything for the strategy of the game. It's simply there to add some flavor. 
You'll notice the higher level gladiator, in addition to having the same initial text, also has another ability, a negative action, so long as he's not raging, etc., etc., etc. Well, that's pretty much all there is for the gladiator cards. Let's go to the next card.